In the Senate probe kickoff on the Mindoro Oriental oil spill, the investigating panel did not take long to pin the responsibility and blame on the Philippine Coast Guard for failure to perform its duty of vetting the empty Princess Empress readiness to sail. This plus the plea of the provincial LGU for the cash for work program as the numbers of those seriously affected by the environmental disaster continues to grow. As PTV's Daniel Manalastas reports. The Philippine Coast Guard clarifies in a tweet that a Certificate of Public Convenience or CPC for the MT Princess Empress was issued by the Marina. But during the Senate's investigation before PCG's clarification, it was revealed that there is no authority to operate issued to MT Princess Empress. Through the amendment for its CPC issued to the RDC Real Marine Services, which owns the MT Princess Empress. Kung wala pang amended CPC, hindi pa naidagdag sa CPC ng RDC itong Princess Empress, hindi dapat na nakalayag ito. Tama po. Dapat po. Kung CPC is issued to the company, ang, sa CPC niyan, nililista ang mga vessels under that CPC. May dagdagdag ka ng isang ano, vessel, you have to amend. Yung, yung RDC, may pending application, which we are going to hear pa sana, may hearing, may kulang na mga documents. So, hear pa natin yan. So, hindi sila naisuhan kaagad. The senators questioned the PCG. Wala po check sir yung certi Certificate of okay. Public Convenience. So doon nagkaroon ng kapabayaan. Yun ang sinasabi kanina. Hindi lang sana naging pabaya ang mga pao ninyo. Hindi na payagan maglayag yun dahil kulang sa dokumento. Hindi sana tayo nag-uusap lahat dito ngayon. Period. Yun po yun. So dapat yung mga nag-check niyan, suwan at makulong. RDC said this was not the first time they sailed. Ibang mga gumagang pa, hindi pa. Ilang beses na naglayag ito na wala pang CPC? Hindi ako sigurado din sa exact words. Pero ito yung team may bataan in Manila. Manila. So it has happened nine times already. So nine times from whatever port it left port, from whatever area it left port, the Coast Guard supposed, was supposed to inspect it. During the hearing, RDC also confirmed that they submitted documents for the application. Meanwhile, the Oriental Mindoro local government said help from the national government, particularly food packs, are already there. Next will be the cash for work program for those whose livelihood were affected. Now the question is, what help did they get from the tanker company? Ano po ang assistance ang uh, binibigay niyo po sa mga apektadong residente? Lahat po ng assistance when it comes to oil response requests to the Philippine Coast Guard. Tungkol din sa um, cash for work. Ang ano po yung Harbor Star na in charge sa shoreline cleanup. Uh, magkakaroon din po ng kanyang klaseng programa. As far as direct assistance to our kababayans, yun po ang wala. Okay. And that's what we are asking sana. Kasabay ng gobyerno kasi hindi po kaya ng gobyerno sustain. The Office of Civil Defense tallied more or less 70 areas were affected by the oil spill. 122 individuals got sick due to inhalation of chemicals. And more than 13,000 fisher folks were affected. Daniel Manalastas for the nation.